Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Chimwe Manuka. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open a PayPal account in few easy steps. So the first step, let's go to Google search engine and search for PayPal. We are now on the website, PayPal website. We click here. This is the home page for PayPal. We have uh, a lot of information, but uh, this is the PayPal home page. As you can see, you can explore it. A lot of information here, but uh, our interest is on this and this one and this one so first uh, let me explain about these two paypal accounts can either be personal or they can be business accounts so if you choose personal account that's as it suggests for personal activities personal transactions while if you choose the business account is for business transactions so the there are few differences with the business account it is possible for several people to have access to a single account and uh, when creating a business account you may be required to submit some business documents like registration a registration certificate of the business the tax information of the business and the composition of the business, whether the directors or board members, depending on the nature of the business as well. On the personal account, you are only supposed to provide your personal particulars. So for this tutorial, I will use the personal account, but the process is the same. The other exceptional or maybe the other privileges or advantage of the business account is that uh, you can use it to receive payments online on e-commerce websites or for donations so if you are running a charity organization where you accept donations then you have to choose the business account and also if you have an online store where you accept or you want to be accepting direct payments online then as well you also have to choose the business account it's also possible to change from personal to business so if you start with a personal account and if you want to change it you can easily do that with easy settings so for this one, as I said, we we'll use the personal personal account. So let's start from here on sign up. But before we sign up, so we go and sign up. This is the sign up page and they're explaining the difference between the two personal account and a business account so for business account get paid online in store or on the go collect donations help grow your business accept more forms of payment so you don't miss a sale and other stuff uh, and on personal send spend and manage your money all from one app so already discussed about this we can now go to get started here you choose the country if it was not already chosen so here you choose uh, the country where you live or where you have access for verification especially for phone numbers so in my case right now I'm in Japan so I'll maintain Japan here and here I'll put my phone number
when I input the phone number I will click next after clicking next they send a code to my phone so I have to get the code for my phone and input it here so here's the code I have confirmed the code which they sent me so from here they're saying set up your profile information so we'll update it by putting our particulars so we'll start with the email address then the nationality the name family name and password so the password has to be with minimum of eight characters which include numbers letters and symbols so let me put my email address the information is adequate so now that we have all information provided we are ready to proceed to set up our profile so we'll click next then we add our personal address or postal details including date of birth building name street name city prefecture postal code on postal code make sure you know the postal code of your area this is very important because if you don't put the postal code you cannot proceed so remember to tick this box you confirm that you have read and agree to the display under the payment services act so now we have the information required we click agree and create account congratulations the account is done that's how simple it is but here we have side card or bank so you click here we have two options to link a payment method so we have link a debit card or link a credit card we use or stick to the first option which is link a debit card or a credit card the only problem is that if you don't link your paper account to bank or with credit card there are two major consequences the first one is that you will not be allowed to transact more than 500 us dollars or the equivalent to 500 us dollars the other one is that you will not be able to withdraw money from your paper to your bank you can still use the paper account to receive money and make transactions online so let's go ahead with linking a debit or a credit card so if you get your credit card or debit card the first thing you have to enter is the card number this is the longest number in the front of your card make sure you use a card which has the capability of uh, being used online if it doesn't work please contact your bank so the debit card or debit or credit card number is the longest number you put here then you also put the expired date as it is indicated on your card then you put the security code security code is a three digit number at the back of your card so you put it here now i've cancelled but our account is ready this account is ready so i will go on go to your account I'm in the dashboard of my account as you can see 
the account is ready so here we have uh, this send when you want to send money you click wherever they send so you have send here so to send you input the email address of the person who you want to receive the funds so you put the email address here okay so the moment i put the email address uh, paypal recognizes that there is this email address which is in their system so it appears here and then here i have to decide how much i'm sending okay so you see here we have two types of currency we have the japanese yen and then we have the us dollar this happens when the two accounts have different uh, default currencies here you can write reasons why you are making the payment or you can simply ignore then you click confirm i mean continue okay so you can verify the information if it's accurate then you click on send payment but as you can see here it's not active the button on send payment is not active simply because in my account there is nothing and i can't send from account with a zero balance so here we are not proceeding but the moment you have funds you click here then the process is done then i'll cancel to go back so we have looked at send how to send then you can also go to request if you want someone to send you money but you have to send a request you type the email address so i'll do the same okay so if we are to request this person to send money let's say we want the person to send us 5,500,000 yen we click here request payment here the request has been sent to this email which means this email has received a link and they will simply have to click that link to uh, finish up the process but since this is simply a demonstration i will not accept this actually i don't have all this money when you click on wallet you'll be able to see the balance in your account you'll be able to see the balance in all the currency types if you have multiple currencies and you can as you can see here you can even add some more currencies which you prefer or you want an activity activity it's where you'll be able to see all the activities that have been ha happening in your account so for example we tried this request it is showing here that today on 14th april we made a request of this amount you click here you can see the details to where we are sending and everything so whether you receive the money it will appear here the amount the recipient details and all sorts of uh, required information so here as you can see you can also get the app the mobile app is more convenient so if you like to be using the app you can get it on google play store or if you use apple you can also get it so basically that is how the process works i hope it has helped you and i hope you have successfully created your paypal account if you have any questions regarding paper please feel free to ask questions or comments in the comment section below
if you have questions thank you for watching